When drawing conduit, especially when you're doing uh, conduits that have to be at an angle, um, and you need to do banks of conduit, uh, I find it easy to, I created these uh, families here. Um, they're conduit fitting families. And of course, when I click on them, I can actually change them to the size, you know, to get the spacing I'm looking for, for certain conduits, for example, you know, I've got a two inch here. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of show you how I use this. So for example, let's say you have a switchboard or something here, as you can see here, when I'm building these things, the way I built them, I, you know, I get these, you know, these guidelines that, you know, for example, let's say I wanted to come out this way and come down in an angle here, as you can see, you know, it's, it's drawing those, uh, you know, gives you those guidelines. And so, for example, I can come in here and, uh, oops, that's a little too far, so I'll pull a little closer. And, you know, as you can see here, and it kind of keeps you in line and make sure that you're drawing the conduits at the correct spacing, you know. That's the most important thing, you know. Especially when you're trying to draw at an angle here, you know, you can make sure that they're always at that. Now, of course, I know you can do parallel, but, you know, sometimes, you know, when I'm doing these things, you know, you're coming down and then you're making a change here. So it's parallel just like, a, for example, like an intersection like this. It just seems like it's easier to use the spacing here and just, you know, have them kind of give you those guidelines. Um, Another thing I've used them for is, for example, is like duct banks. You know, when you're doing duct banks and the conduits are not at the spacing that, you know, normal spacing, you can come in here and create like a, a special, like here I've got a duct bank, like say one, which is like eight inches, you know. And sometimes an engineer comes back and says, oh, I don't need them at eight inches anymore. I, you know, they need to, they need, we need to change them, so, you know, change them to like say nine inches or whatever. Um, and we just rename this nine inches here and now of course you know that changes the spacing so I just put it on course here and then just you know I can then uh, align pretty quickly you know and of course you know you can space them out you know evenly and do dimensions and stuff like that but I know especially with angles and stuff like that it's just to me it's just I can easily see what I'm doing here and then just you know by creating these um, you know, all these, you know, guidelines here. And uh, so they do help out uh, in certain circumstances. You know, you don't use them everywhere, but when you, you know, got intersections or, you know, especially with angles, you know, it's, it just seems easier to do. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're simple to build. It's just a, uh, you know, a 3D line, basically. Um, and I made it a fitting and I put, you know, there I can open it up here. And I just put uh, connectors on each side of them. And that basically gives you that uh, the ability to create those, you know, those guidelines when you're snapping. So, when you, like I said, you know, get those guidelines that really help make sure that you're, you know, putting conduit in fast and put them in the right spot quickly. All right, until next time.